Uh, hello, learners, uh, students. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Nigeria uh, Mathematics. Uh, today, we're going to look at something uh, called logarithms. So, if you missed the previous video on NSS, then uh, look at it because uh, logarithm is a, a build-up on uh, something called indices. So remember to subscribe, you can share to your friends and also uh, colleagues who are in the same line of study. Now, let's check logarithm. Uh, what is logarithm? So let's find so definition. Uh, a logarithm of a number, a logarithm of a number is the power, the power to which the base, uh, to which the base, which the base must be raised. Must be raised to give you to give that number to give of course that number. So we say the logarithm of a number is the power to which the base must be raised uh, to give that specific number. So therefore we are saying so if we write log of a number let's say m to base p and we say it is equal to n so if we say log of a number where well, this one is the base then uh, it equals to n the same is the same as saying this one should be raised to this for you to get the number so therefore m in short is the same as p raised to power for n. So if you are finding the logarithm of any number, what we are just saying is we are finding the power to which that number must be raised, at which the base must be raised for you to get that given number. So uh, now from the laws of indices we are saying it is now this number, you have the base, which is reason, this index. So logarithm basically we are going to be finding the powers of numbers that have been raised, that the base has been raised to get uh, that specific number. So for example, we have so for example so for example if we say log uh, of 9 so if you are to evaluate the log of 9 to the 3 so the question is to what power will you raise 3 for you to get what? For you to get 9. So we can uh, solve it in the, in, the, in, the, in the break way. So we can say the solution to this. So we can just let, yeah? we say let this one be x. We know this one is the power, but we know this one has to be raised to that power for you to get that. So 9 is, should be the same as 3 raised to power x. And what do we know? 9 can be written as a base of 3 from the laws of indices. So this one can be written as 3 squared, which is 3x. And since the base are the same, therefore the powers must be the odds, must be the same. So therefore x gives you 2. And now we can verify that. When you raise 3 to power 2, it gives you the number, the number 9. Another example, maybe, uh, we can also have the log, <coughs> and now the log, let's say, uh, 2 uh, to get 16. So, to what power do you raise 2 for you to get 16? Again, we can let, so we say log 2, uh, let it to be x, but we know this one raised to this power, the base raised to this power, so 16 should give us 2 watts. 2x, uh, 16 can be written as 2 to power what? can be written as 2 to power 4, which is the same as 2x. Since the base are the same, the powers should be the odds, should be the same. So generally, 
when we are working with logarithms, we are finding uh, we are finding powers. So generally, this is how logarithms uh, are. Now, in operations of logarithms, we have rules. The same way we had uh, rules governing the laws of indices, then we also have rules that govern the operation of logarithms. So let's check the laws of logarithms. Then after that, we shall check a few examples to illustrate the same same rules. So the laws of logarithms. So we check the laws. So the laws. B. 
This one does not mean this. These are two different entities. These are logarithm of a different number and a logarithm of another different number. But this one, remember, this one is a fraction. So it is a number divided by another number, not a log divided by another log. Then, uh, then three. Uh, the log of an exponential, the logarithm to base e, is what we call the ln and the the l n. So therefore, let's jump in and take a few examples that involves the laws of.